I'm Dr. Katie Kangas, holistic veterinarian and co-founder of PetWellnessAcademy.com. And today I'd like to talk to you a bit about pet nutrition. Most specifically today, I'd like to give a word of caution regarding fish-based pet foods. It seems that many pet food companies have really exploded with a variety of fish-based pet foods. This really started because so many pets are now having problems with allergies. Chicken and other common types of protein are often looked at as potential allergens for pets. So many people are looking for other options such as fish and more novel types of proteins. The problem with this is that many pet owners have converted their dogs and cats over to a strictly fish-based diet, and this can actually present problems of its own. For starters, there are a lot of contaminants in our oceans in today's world, and mercury and other toxins can be a big uh, risk with fish depending on how it's sourced and where it comes from. So high quality fish sources is of utmost importance. Another negative aspect about these fish based diets is the oily fish varieties provided in these diets such as the salmon and the mackerel and the sardines. These do carry very nutritious omega fatty acids. However, omega fatty acids are very fragile and they oxidize when exposed to air. When they oxidize, they actually become rancid. This is really important. For one thing, if you are going to buy fish-based dry foods for your pets, you actually want to buy a smaller bag so that it's consumed more quickly and the food doesn't have time to go rancid. Another negative aspect about feeding fish-based diet on a regular basis is the amount of toxins that are being fed to our pets. Many people are aware of common preservatives such as BHA and BHT, which are known to have carcinogenic or cancer-causing properties. Fewer people are aware of the preservative that is commonly used to preserve fish. This is called ethoxyquin, and ethoxyquin has been linked to kidney disease and kidney failure in pets. An important point is that when these pets are eating these foods on a regular basis, day after day, and perhaps month after month, or even year after year, that even if measured levels of toxins are below what's considered to be the toxic level per meal, when this adds up over time, the toxic load can make a difference, and this is what can lend toward kidney problems and other problems in our pets that are continually eating fish-based diets. For these reasons, I would recommend against feeding an exclusively fish-based diet for your pet, and instead opt for more variety, different protein options, and even better yet, fresher, less processed options than dry kibble diets. For more information on this and useful tips on nutrition, please visit us at PetWellnessAcademy.com.